guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel it has been a minute and I bet you're like whoa your hair is a different color it is I just did like a temporary washout dye because why not okay. if you are new to my channel well welcome <laughs> my name is Chloe Brown and you can find me on Instagram up here or you can subscribe to my channel and turn on those bell notifications that are notifications um, turn on the bell notifications and you can see every single time I upload. Um, yeah, okay. So today I thought that I would answer some of your guys' questions about pros and cons, about getting short hair, how to gain confidence, that kind of thing. Pretty much my experience with short hair. So I have had short hair for, I mean, super short hair for a total of a year and a half now. Um, and I haven't grown it out at all. I've grown it out like a little bit, maybe like two inches, maybe four inches on this side. It used to be really short on this side. But all in all, I just wanted to tell you guys my experiences and the things that I think are good and bad about having short hair. So let's start out with some pros. Number one is it is liberating to cut off all of your hair. I knew for many years that like I hid behind my hair. It was super long. Um, I'll put in a picture of how long it is right here. Um, but it was like down to my butt and I just kind of like hid behind it. I have really big cheeks. And so I liked putting my hair like in front of my cheeks and making them appear smaller. Um, but I just absolutely loved it. There's something about like just chopping off all your hair that gives you this weird sense of confidence. So I think that would be point number two is like, I didn't really, gain the confidence to cut my hair short until after my hair was cut. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like a lot of people are like, how did you get the confidence? She was like, chop off all your hair. I'm like, I didn't, I just chopped it off and then it came. Cause I figured out that you could cut all your hair off and like hang your head down low and be like, everybody's looking at me or I, don't, I can't hide anymore. Or you could just be like, yeah, I cut it off and guess what? It'll grow back <laughs> if I wanted to. I don't want it to though. Okay, um, number two is you'll get a lot of compliments. Um, I noticed right when I chopped off my hair, everybody's like, oh my gosh, your hair's cute. I like your hair. I don't know, I just noticed that a lot of people comment on short hair. Number three is it like kind of transforms like your whole style. I started dressing around my short hair because when I had longer hair, I could kind of cover up things here and um, I don't know, I feel like you just, you wear shirts that complement your hair. I don't really layer that much anymore because, I don't know, I just like my hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but my style changed once I started, um, once my hair was shorter. I don't know, I just kind of came into this new sense of, I am Chloe with short hair and I want to dress like that. I don't know, maybe that sounds weird. Maybe it will happen for you, maybe it won't. Tell me in the comments if your style changed when you cut your hair. You use less shampoo, which I love. For some reason, like when my hair, my hair was brown when it was longer, it definitely got more greasy. Um, and I didn't have like a rat's nest in the back of my neck, which is so awesome. I haven't had like any tangles, any anything since I um, dyed my, I mean, since I cut my hair all off, but I also wash it less and my styles last longer. Less damage to your hair, I guess. If you have really split ends, you just cut them all off and then your hair's like brand new, so that's fun. You could do a lot of fun things with short hair. You could do a lot of fun things. I love playing with my hair. I love styling my hair. Um, that's one thing that I absolutely love about having short hair is just like it's fun and it's sassy and you can play with it and I don't know, new things come up all the time. People think that you can't like really do much with short hair, but like you really can. Watch some of my videos. You could do a lot of fun things with short hair. You just can't like have those big mermaid braids, but other than that girl, you, you do you. Another thing is, is that you're a lot less hot in the summer, um, especially when you have an undercut. Oh my gosh, I love my undercut. Look, look. it's perfect. Um, I also have side cuts too. They're on both sides. That just, oh, it helps everything. It helps everything. 
I can't stress that enough. You don't get that stupid flip out at the back of your hair when you're trying to grow it out. Um, I don't know. I just, and if you're trying to grow your hair out from a pixie cut, I highly suggest you grow out the top of your hair, keep your undercut until it's like my length, and then grow out your undercut. That way you won't get that like mullet flip out weird awkward stage. I don't know. It, it worked for me when I had shorter hair. <laughs> Positive, a pro um, to having short hair is your hair gets very voluminous because it's not super heavy anymore. So all the shorter layers on top causes your hair to be like super poofy, which I love because I love volume in my hair. So that is fun. Um, also, it's a lot easier for me to throw my hair from side to side now, which before it wasn't because my hair just didn't flip flop. Um, now it does. And now I can even like do the little part down the middle. I mean, if I curled my hair right today, I would be able to do that. But some of the cons of having short hair are it costs more money because you have to get like a trim every four to eight weeks, depending on how short your hair is or if you have buzz sides or if you have like a true pixie cut, a lot of people like to keep it super short. Um, mo most people go in to get like a, you know, their fade touched up um, every four weeks, which is costly. So it does cost you more money. For some odd reason, I use more styling products now than I ever have. Um, and that's for lift and moisture. I really like my, I think I'm just taking better care of my hair because I have a lot of pride in it now. Whereas when it was longer, I just didn't give a crap, which is kind of sucky, but um, my hair was not super healthy back then when it was super long, just because I didn't ever use like um, a conditioning serum. I didn't like deep condition my hair. Now I like really care about my hair, which is, which is fun. If you have really, really, really short hair, like a short pixie, um, like you can't braid or something. Some, I've heard some people say that that does get a little bit boring after time, just because there's only a couple ways to style your hair super, super short. But if you're into that thing, like if you wanna just like wake up and go, that's perfect for you. Um, whereas for me, I can't just wake up and go. I have to style my hair. So that is a huge con is if you're wanting to just like toss your hair up in a ponytail or something, your hair's too short, you can't do it. You can do like a top bun, but my hair is absolutely crazy when I get out of the shower. I have a lot of wave to it and it's not frizzy, but it's not cute. <laughs> um, so you have to style your hair. I love styling my hair, so that's not an issue for me, but it could be for some people. A lot of people ask you a lot of questions about your hair. They ask very technical things or how often do you get it cut? Why did you cut it? Blah, blah, blah. So like, uh, and you'll get those things like, oh, but your long hair was so pretty. It's like, you'll get those a lot and they're kind of annoying. No, they're really annoying. They're really annoying. It's like, mind your own business. You have long hair. I have short hair. I chose to have short hair. Thank you. Bye-bye now. That's why I made that stupid shirt that says it'll grow back, hashtag short hair. Cause it's like every time I, they're like, but your long hair was so pretty. I'm like, well, it'll grow back <laughs> when I want it to. <laughs> if you have thicker short hair, it is harder to style. Um, I have very thick hair. And so that's why I decided to get my undercut and my side cuts just because um, it's a lot easier to style that way. The shorter hairs in the very, very back were very hard to straighten or curl. So that is why I chopped it all off because now my shortest layer, I can curl or straighten. Oh, I mean, you can't really see because of a black backdrop, but um, it's long enough to curl or straighten. So that's why I have my side cuts and undercuts. My side cuts are to take out bulk because I had like this weird stick out part over here. Um, so that helps my hair lay closer to my neck. For me, I have pretty bad back breakouts and face breakouts around my cheeks um, when I'm on my period. So it's harder to hide them right now. I just <laughs> ended my cycle. So I have a few like right here and a few right here. That's where I mostly break out. Um, and then I have a couple on my neck. If you have short hair, you can't really hide them with your hair, which kind of sucks. Um, when I had longer hair, I was able to just hide my back pimples. And then I was able to just, you know, do this kind of doodaddy with my long hair. Now I can't really do that. So you just kind of have to embrace the blemishes on your face and wear them with pride, man, wear them with pride. Another con is sometimes you might miss your long hair. Um, there are 
I mean, not, I would say 5% of the time I miss my long hair. Um, and that's only when I want to braid it really long or put it in a ponytail. But other than that, I, I don't mind. I love my short hair. I don't know if I'll ever grow my hair back out again. <laughs> that's how much I love it. But I don't know. I hope that this video helps you guys if you guys are questioning whether to get to cut your hair or to keep your hair long. Um, I wish I watched one of these videos before I cut my hair just because I didn't know what to prepare for. Um, I do highly suggest if you are going to cut your hair shorter, I would get a, a smaller curling iron. Um, I use a 3 fourths inch curling iron and then I actually blow dry my hair now more than I ever have. Like I said, I think the styling is so fun. So I've just like accumulated a lot of different tools and styling products. Um, I got like one of those mini curling iron or flat irons too. That helps a lot. Um, but anyways, I will put everything that I personally like for my short hair and I recommend before you get your hair cut in the description box down below. Um, so I hope that helps. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you just cut your hair, welcome to the Short Hair Club. And if you are going to cut your hair, I can't wait for you to join the Short Hair Club. It is so fun. Like, I love people with short hair. We just, like, we just get each other. Like, it's like, yes! It's a connection. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.